Our next speaker is uh, Susan Holland Muter. Susan, um, please forgive me if I if I pronounced your surname wrong. She is from the Sociology Department, Faculty of Arts. Um, her presentation will also be speaking about DAL. It's titled Sociology Department. SOC 151 collaborates with Digital Academic Literacy Program, DAL. So Susan, if you are there, you can, you can take the stage. Good morning, everyone. I'm so sorry. After all of this, a year and a half into lockdown, and we still have issues with how to unmute. Um, could I ask um, my colleague, Fundile, to upload the presentation? Or, okay, Terence. Great. Thank you so much. So while that presentation is being uploaded, I just want to say to, uh, to thank my, uh, my colleague, Fundile Nkunge, and the Dell team um, in working with me on this presentation and working with me in, in the actual um, implementation of our module. Um, so I'm a contract lecturer. When I begin lecturing at UWC, we are already into COVID. And me and digital technologies are only friends in as much as WhatsApp and that's like sort of and Facebook. So obviously I do a lot of my own experience and my own um, resistance to working with um, technology as well as my own ignorance in a sense um, to be able to put myself in student shoes who were going to come into a um, higher education institution and have to go into working immediately on to, on to online for in the 2020 cohort, 2021 cohort. So I drew on my experience of 2020 to be able to, 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 to know that students who were coming in, who had just gone through, so I'm, we are working with SOC 151 first year sociology students, 2021. So they have finished matric under conditions of COVID. So I'm assuming that there are students who are have missed out on a huge transition, um, finishing their, their, higher, their, their school learning and are coming into first year higher education, another major transition in, in their, into adulthood and doing it all online. So there was a very, very strong need, thinking of my own experience of not knowing how to do online learning to be able to assist them. So obviously the important thing was to, um, to build in a digital academic literacy component. Um, can we move on to the next slide? And so um, an important, in order for that to happen, I knew that this, this possibility existed of actually developing a service level agreement um, with um, CIET, um, CST, I don't know how to say that properly. And we had a series of meetings um, with Fundile over, over a period of time to look at what 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 is the specific um, ways in which we would like to work with the academic literacy program and in what kind of order and for me um i think we can move on to the next slide so i think for 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 us the the most important thing was to try and create the best conditions and to optimize the entry into higher education learning and to obviously facilitate and maximize their online learning experience. And so when we actually looked at how, what kind of components we were going to highlight and in what order, it was very important that for us, the very first thing was, how do you actually connect to a space? So using the VPN and what is the VPN? How to find it? How do you install it? How do you actually use it? Were very, very important um, first steps as a way in which to then facilitate entry into kind of online learning. Um, this was especially important in context, in context where students did not have access to data and had experienced um, huge connectivity issues. Um, and obviously, a Canva was going to be a central element, as with all of our, our other colleagues, as we've heard over these last couple of days, a Canva is one of our main portals and, and ways of learning. And of course, how to assess, um, and so obviously issues of assessment, um, quizzes and tests, and, and the use of uh, Turnitin, and the internet and email, and of course, Word documents, because people that were not necessarily um, 
did not necessarily know how to use a Word document or how to actually set up a, um, and format, et cetera. So this was, these are very important basic skills, um, almost teaching people how to breathe, um, because these are things that you kind of take for granted once you get into the actual swing of your, of your academic program. And this was implemented alongside the formal academic program, um, and it, we actually gave it 10% of the coursework. So we actually, we, we, we wanted to highlight its importance and centrality. Um, if you can move on to the next slide. Oops, a daisy. That does not look very clear. Okay, so let me, um, I just want to give you a sense of the overall student performance. So we had 511 students. Well, firstly, we've got 611 students in our course and 511 students took part in the DAL or were signed up to be a part of the DAL. Um, and once they had completed it, uh, 9% of those students, okay, you can't see it very well, but there's 9% of the students got 90 to 100%. So they actually excelled. 70% um, of the students got between 70 to 89%. So we were very, very um, happy with the performance of the students that they clearly engaged. Um, we had meetings throughout the period with um, Fundile in terms of how things were going. And so there was a kind of um, a constant um, flow to ensure that things were going well. And we, we, we tried to ensure that we could support the students from both sides in that way. Um, also, I mean, so 9% of the students actually were absent and did not take part in the DAL. So I, I, we, we would presume that those are the students that actually dropped out. Um, of the first year course. And I'm sure that many other departments and faculties had this experience of having very, very big, large first year um, cohort. So in our case, 611. Um, and then as, as the time went on, there was a kind of attrition. But we found that, in fact, we're not quite sure whether it's the digital academic literacy program, our own way, our own setting up of the academic um, program, and our own way of interacting with the students. We actually had a very, very high retention. So if we could just move on to the next slide. So if we ask ourselves, did it actually, did the Dell facilitate the learning? So in the one sense, we were saying, well, if you to learn digital academic literacy, you actually need to have some kind of familiarity with online learning and to actually, so it's almost like teaching you how to swim, you actually have to get, you have to be in the water and you have to want to be in the water. So, and it, it, that, that created a set of challenges, um, but there's actually no way around it. You just have, once if you have to get to the other side of the pool, you have to get into the pool and swim, right? So that was, we just had to move and we supported people along the way as best we could. Um, but we found that as a whole, we believe that um, the digital academic mm -hmm. literacy program did contribute to the, the students' profic proficiency and ability to actually take part in the online learning. So we used both a mix of, in the same way that the Dell program was a mix of live and pre-recorded um, lectures, we did the same thing within our, within our own academic program and it kind of mirrored what was happening in the in the Dell, what was happening in, in our actual academic um, program. So we used two minutes other, remaining. Two minutes remaining colleagues. Sorry. So we used lessons tools in which we embedded lectures with videos and art and articles and resource material. We had um, reflective practices in the in the sense of discussion forums which we encourage students to, to write and to, and to en engage with questions which linked up to the, to the lessons and to sections um, once the sections were completed and especially around the time of class tests, essays and exams. Um, and we, we found that there was an extremely high engagement with Encumber. So 100% of the lesson pages were opened. 100% of the resources were used. Only 2% of members did not access a Canva at all. Um, we found that, th so there was a very active um, participation in the discussion forum. Um, 
There was a lot of engagement with emails, um, a lot of WhatsApp interaction. And we say what's a lot, a lot, a lot. And we said with 100%, we could see that that, that worked out. Um, and we found that what we believe contributed to the success was the digital academic uh, learning experience, which um, Fondil is going to share, uh, uh, the student evaluation, very clear lesson plans and engaging resources, and a very interacting staff. And that is myself, as well as the team of tutors, um, which led to the fact of 588 students completing the course out of 611, with a very high pass rate of uh, 79%. So I think that that was, um, I do believe that Adele co contributed to those very, very successful outcomes. Uh, Fundele, if you would like to, to share the student evaluations of the Dell. Thank you, just one minute. Um, uh, can you move the slide, um, Terence, quickly? We are out of time. Um, nothing much from my side, just to show um, we have common uh, issues coming from students, all of us the connection, the network, the data, the devices, um, that's the issues. Even prior to us teaching, when we asked with the pre-questionnaires, the same issues. So we still have to um, grapple with these facts um, when we're teaching, we must think of these areas. Uh, move to the next slide um, quickly, Terence. And again, um, I think Nyameko showed this one uh, before already. The students, they're sort of divided into two. Some like the live classes, some rather go for the um, recorded live classes based on different um, 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 uh, things, um, uh, options and situations. Um, the last one, um, Yamza, um, Terence. And um, those are just, again, this similar comments. Most of them are, are almost the same across the the, the class the faculties at the moment and that will be it so far thank you so much um uh so thank you thank um you. Terence. yes thank you very much